Hi guys, VST here with SPS Tech. In today's video, I'm going to enable the Volti for my new and now beloved OnePlus 8. Okay, and guys, I already did a video like this for doing the same thing on the OnePlus 6, 60, 7, 7 Pro 70. It's pretty much going to be the same operation. So if you want to check my first video, you can do it there. It's a very funny video with some very comic moments, which I hope you enjoyed. But I decided to shoot a new one with my new phone, just in case. So if you have the OnePlus 8, you're good to go with this video. Of course, if you did it before, you can watch my other video. Just up to you guys. So basically what we're going to need is these four files. I will put all the files into one big zip file like I do all the time and I will put the zip file somewhere on the internet and I will put the link into the description of this video down below, okay? Before we start guys, that's my channel. If you enjoy the content I do, just hit the subscribe button. When you do this, you can also tap on the notification bell and you're gonna get notified every time I do upload a new video. So we don't need this one, right? And I think we can throw this up. Okay, and let's now just do the proper work. So guys, like I told you, we're gonna need four files. First one is LockKit APK, which is gonna help us to enable the Volta switch on our phones. Because right now, if I go here, and let me just show you guys, if I go into the settings menu of my phone and I go to network, and then I go to Simon network, I don't see anywhere the Volta switch. Of course, this has been removed. We need to get it back. We're gonna use the LockKit APK. Then there is a second APK, engineering mode, which apparently was there in some of the previous versions of Oxygen OS, not anymore. And we're gonna need this to enable the function switch, which is kind of connection between the phone and the PC, because we need then to use the QPST software and then the PDC tool to modify the profiles. And of course, we need step four, which is the, the OnePlus USB drivers which of course we need to install on our PC or computer to enable the connection between our PC and then our phone. But before we do this guys, very first thing to do, let's just go and enable the developer settings. So I'm gonna do this on this phone for the very first time. If we go here to about phone and we click on the build number several times, okay, then I need to enter my pin. I think you need to enter something like seven times, just tap on it seven times. When that's done guys, apparently you are now a developer, okay? Then you just go back and you just search for developer settings, okay, developer options. And then we apparently need to update one setting. This setting here is USB debugging. So make sure that you select USB debugging from the developer settings. Now once that's done guys, we need to copy these two APKs on the phone and install them. So let's go and do that. I have connected my phone now to the PC and I'm going to choose the option to enable file transfer. Okay, now once that's done, I'm just gonna put the phone down below here and I'm just going to copy both APKs into the OnePlus phone. Okay, so let me do it there. Okay, device is still ready, it's been setting up. Okay, it's not there, but it's here in 20110. Okay, I'm just going to dump them directly into the main folder, okay. Now, once the two files are there, guys, you know, what we can do right now is already disconnect the phone. So let's disconnect the phone. I'm just gonna leave the cable here, okay? And then we're just going to install the files. So I'm just gonna go to File Manager, it's storage, internal storage. Okay, and let's install the very first one. This is the LockKit APK. I just click on it, I press continue, I press install, okay? Let's now install also the second one, which is engineering mode, okay? Press install. And now in order to check if both APKs are installed, of course we need to check some settings. So open your dialog guys and just type star dash 800 dash. And this is gonna open the first function that I told you, like the lock kit. Now there are a lot of settings, don't get panic, just switch a little bit down and there is something called function switch. In the function switch, make sure that you enable the voltage switch, okay, cancel. Then the Wi-Fi switch, don't press reboot, just cancel, okay. These two should be enough. Now, at this point of time, what we need to do is reboot the phone. This happens when you press and hold the power button with the volume up, okay? You're gonna get this nice function, restart the phone. Guys, I have restarted my phone. Now, when you go to the settings, you go to Wi-Fi network, then you go to SIM and network, and then apparently you need to click on your SIM card. When I click on my SIM card, I have already the Volta function, so we have Volta here and we have Wi-Fi calling. Now, you can see still that I don't have the Volta there, so I'm just going to disable my Wi-Fi, and we can just see that I have just the 4G+, Plus, but there is no Volta, okay? Now, we're gonna make use of the second APK which we installed, and that's the engineering mode. So, we just go back to the dialog, guys, we press star dash 801 this time, dash again. And then we're just gonna get engineering mode or factory mode. 
Now make sure that you click on the engineering mode, just press once. Here guys, we all need to do one thing, and this is full port switch, we need to enable this one. Now once that's enabled, this will allow our phone to communicate with the software we're going to install. So I'm gonna leave my phone here guys, and I'm going to install the software from step three, which is the QPST. So I will first unzip that one. Once that's done, I'm just gonna enter in the folder, and I'm just gonna press QPST exam. This is pretty much installing the QPST software. It's a suite of software, so it has several applications inside that will allow you to change some settings on the modem, okay? But be very careful, don't mess with that one unless you know what you do. If you follow strictly my video, you're gonna be on the safe side. Software is being installed. Okay, press next here. Accept the agreement, press next, press next, press complete, press install. It's a very straightforward process, so nothing fancy here. Okay, now when you're ready and the install finishes, just press the finish button, okay? Now we need to go one step back, guys, okay? And the last step we need to do is install the USB driver, so just extract them in a new folder, install the drivers. It's a very straightforward process, just press setup.exe and install them. Press yes here. Okay, very important guys, when you are presented with the option, just make sure that you use the first one here, WWDCP. Okay, press next, press next, accept the agreement, again press next, install, press finish. Okay guys, now what we need to do is connect the phone, so you take the phone, just connect it to your PC. Okay, and now the best option for you to see if the device has been installed, the right drivers, is just open your search button and type there PDC. You're gonna get this application, right, PDC app. When you click on the PDC app, again, the PDC is part of QPST, you're gonna get the advanced PDC tool, and then on the device, if everything is successful, you should be able to see the Qualcomm device, which is actually your phone hooked up to your PC. Okay, so we have the Qualcomm HS USB fan adapter, and guys, this is the very important last step. So this is here where the magic happens, so pay attention and be very, very careful. Now, here we have all the profiles, right? We have all the SIM cards, sub one, first SIM card, sub one, second SIM card, I don't know why there is sub two, but by default, guys, the active profile that is activated on your phone is the overseas commercial, okay? Now, don't delete this. Some people were deleting this in the past, and they, when they were traveling abroad into some other countries, they were having problem with the roaming. Now, what we need to, need to do is just press the right button here, and just press deactivate on sub zero, okay? Sub zero, if you play more combat. Once you deactivate that profile, you are presented with many other options. And of course, then guys, you need to experiment. In the past, I was using some Vodafone profile. So now we already seen that the overseas commercial profile is inactive. And what we need to do is just go and choose and enable a new profile. And you can see there are plenty of profiles right now you know, I'm using the Telenor, so usually, you know, you would go and you search a profile that is linked to your mobile operator. But of course, we did this with some people from all places around the world and they have been successful. So what I'm using, guys, by the way, I'm using the commercial DT Volti because there is no profile for me that is linked to Telenor in Bulgaria. I was able to also, of course, use the Telefonica UK commercial profile, but this one, you know, worked very well for me. So on the commercial DT Volti, if you have selected that one, just press the right button, then you need to go select config, press sub zero here, okay? This will kind of enable this profile for your SIM card. We need to wait a little bit. Now, can you see here, we have commercial DT Volti and now sub zero one is pending, okay? Now, we need to activate this also on sub zero because of course, this is a dual SIM device. Don't forget to do this, else you might be in trouble. So right now, guys, what do we have? We have the commercial DT profile, which is pending activation on sub zero, which is the first scene, and sub one, which is the second scene. What we need to do, guys, is very simple here. Just click on the commercial DT Volte, and I'll go and activate. And this should now activate this profile on your modem, okay? We have to wait a little bit. Right now, we can see we have the commercial DT Volte, we have active, we have active. By that time, guys, we can just remove the connection from the phone to the PC, okay? And now, guys, you see, okay. Usually, you need to go into the airplane mode and then just go back, you know, with your carrier, but even that's not needed right now because I have already the Volti connection. So again, very simple four steps, guys. There is not a lot of chances that you can go wrong. 
please follow the guide. I really hope that this video is helpful to you and that you're gonna enable Volte on your OnePlus 8 Pro or your OnePlus 8 or whatever OnePlus device you have because this is also confirmed to be working on all the devices like the OnePlus 6, 60, 7, 17, whatever. Again, this is the second video I make. I just wanted to repeat the same process, shoot it into better quality. I really hope you're gonna have a nice rest of the Friday and the weekend. But if you're watching this video in some other day, guys, have a nice rest of the day. VST over and bye.